Hello everyone, Lloyd and Day here, we're back to the studio with Bendy and the Dark Revival. Where we last left off, we got through chapter 2, got through, thank god, chapter 3, because man, that rest area was annoying as all hell. And we're now, I think, towards the end of chapter 4? Right now, we need to find a uh, lost one by the name of Heidi, who is, quote unquote, hiding. And, uh, I also had to go off screen with this in order to go back all the way up to the kitchen, grab that beating heart for that big hulking ink guy. Potato Lloyd, hello Ray, how are you? Hope your day's been good. Uh, and I'm hoping that this Heidi girl is in whatever room that big guy is blocking. So now we need to go back into the gent fat... Is it a gent factory? Like, gent offices? Whatever. The place that's called gent. And, uh, not get caught and try to make it back to that room. Also try not to get tangled up by my, uh, cords. Oh, you're expecting those call, call soon. Hopefully it's a good call. Alright, now it's back to... Spooky stuff. Oh yeah, all the bodies that were worked on. They said that in uh, the last stream, they would just shoot down dead bodies constantly because they were gonna get paid like three fifty. Oh good, Discord buddy call. Okay, now I gotta remember, those Eldritch Horror guys are gonna be crawling around. That, like that guy! Don't see me, 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 don't see me! Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, wasn't this room? I thought it was this room. <gasps> Just get in here for safety. Okay. I don't, I really don't like that high-pitched whine they make. Okay, he's crawling that way. As long as he doesn't see me. Good, good. I think I'm in far away enough for where he won't detect me. It wasn't that room. Crap! Crap! Let me grab this while I'm trying to hide. Okay. Okay, it looks like he's going back. Good. Okay, just go as far away from over there as possible. Now you guys have weird view distances. Okay. Now maybe it was here. Oh great, it's blurry. I can't I tend to forget. You can't see freaking too well when you're in these things.
Where'd he go? <laughs> okay. Just you could just go F off. Oh, I heard giggling. Where the hell was that hulking dude? Was it that way? Yeah, Heidi's in a hidey hole. Oh, I wonder if I have to get in that. Which means probably going that way, not a good idea. I hear you giggling. I'm just trying to get my butt to that vent. Please. Go, 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 go. Okay. Please tell me this is the right way. No, it's not. It leaves me the friggin' kitchen. Ugh. How the hell did I get up there? Wait, is that a lever over there? Oh no, it's a battery thing. Dang it. Hmm. There we go. Woo! Alright. Uh. I'm gonna call you Grammar. Hey, Grammar. Uh, do you wanna. Do you want a tasty, delicious heart? Maybe? Give. Ew! I'm glad you like that. Yeah, you eat that up like it was a freaking apple. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what the hell is in here? Random stuff, some food, at least I get full health and all that's good. Uh, glue? Okay, guy, I got everything! Woo! Okay! But that wasn't where that girl was. Hmm. But I feel she was close because of the whole giggling part. And I know there was another... Oh! There you are! Found you! Oh, you did it! You found me! Oh, this is so exciting! You were brilliant! Now, 
Can you open that door for me? Oh, yes, the door. I think you'll find it's open now. Oh, and also, let me give you something. Something special. Oh, is she going to give me a power-up? Yep, another power-up. <gasps> Fast travel! What was behind is now ahead. Interact with linker pipes to fast travel between two specific locations. Dark places you've already been may hold new secrets. Holy... Holy crap! Cool! I never knew that these were called linkers. I mean, I read the signs, but... Did I know they were called linkers? Also, I don't recognize this area. Was I here before? <gasps> no. What's this? I mean, they did. Oh my god! <sighs> Don't. Game. You can't do that right after you're listening to, like, one of those recordings or whatever. Because you're processing the information that you get. And then you're going to give someone a heart attack. God damn it. So, they were, tr they made him timid, like, half successfully because he'll go from timid Bendy to kill everything Bendy. And it sounded like with this message that they wanted the Bendy to destroy stuff, but he was not willing to do it, if I heard correct. Alright, now we gotta get to that door. Just go, just go, just go, just go. He can't see me, he can't see me. I'm invisible to his eyes. Okay. So if he says, she says, the door's now open. Don't know how, but we'll go with that. Contamination? Oh, okay. I guess that was nothing. What do we have here? Okay, we have a place to hide. That's good. That is very good. And we have a breaking card here. <gasps> oh crap! Uh, Bertram, Chapter Four's boss. What the hell are you doing here? Eh. Eh. Jeez, I guess you got repossessed. Nice little Easter egg, though. And I guess you're still alive, considering the fact your eyeball is still following me. Subject 418. Okay. I'm going to remember those numbers.
Oh, no. Okay, so there's 414, 418. Oh! Um, excuse me. Hello? Sir? Can you help me? You must be real lost to be asking me for help. <gasps> Henry! I'm just looking for answers about the Keepers, Wilson, the cycle. Anything could help. What's your name? He sounds like Henry! Audrey. What's yours? Honestly, I've almost forgotten. <sighs> <gasps> it is Henry! Have you been a prisoner long? When the Keepers think you're a threat to their plans, they lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Oh. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his. But even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, it will reset everything. What is it? The end. It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, the end. I can see it in my mind every day. They keep it upstairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. Aww. If you need me again, you know where to find me. Aww. Um, okay, okay, I mean, that was somber, but, uh, I seem to have activated something else, maybe? But damn! Henry's locked up! Huh. And he has knowledge still of the cycle. Because back at the end of the first game, he had just started the cycle anew. But if you had that little spyglass, you'd see all the etchings on the walls of how many times things got reset. Who's Henry? Henry's the main character from the first Bendy game. Alright, this is going to be subject 418. Who is this? <gasps> Sammy! Sammy's considered a threat? Hello? Whoa. Why is Sammy a threat? Sammy was in Chapter 2 and Chapter 5, and he was the musician for, uh, Joey Drew Studios. <gasps> There's the, the glass thing I was talking about. When you look through it, you get to see secret stuff. There's the axe. The pit. What else is here? Subject 928. What's this? Uh, are you worthy to walk with- Oh no, it's Susie. Oh, don't tell me she's gonna rub the glass again. Get all crazy in the head. Because that's what happened with Susie and- Chapter 3. And 4. She's like super cuckoo. But she's not in there. Uh, 
Oh, and that's how you open that? Okay. And let's err on the safe side and uh, just do a quick savey save. Okay. We're on our way to the pit. Whatever the hell the pit means. There's always hope. Oh my god! For god damn it, that ghost freaking. Mm. Doors are locked. I have to run. Um, I'm thinking I might have to run. Oh, okay, that I'm just captured. Oh crap. I got caught. It also sounded like he was sniffing for me. Kill him. You're safe now. You did this to me. You brought me here. Turned me into this this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists. It breathes, it flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pen. The foundation for a new reality. What? He can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release yeah, out there. What the hell? But first, this world must be controlled. Made safe. These things, these angels and demons. Hi, little Benny. Are they really like? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help what? to save my father's life. What? What? <laughs> No, what? This is How old are you? We'll talk more once we're safely inside. You have to be- Chapter 5, The Dark Revival. You have to be, like, in your 70s! How old's your father? I'm wondering if this is gonna be the last chapter? Needs a freaking title drop, so maybe? 
Give me back my weapon. Stay close. This place is not as safe as it once was. Signal towers are nearby. What? Oh. Oh, signal towers are blocking my abilities. Crap. Let me just heal up with some food. Hello, you jerk. Can I talk to you? I'm not gonna hit you, though. Ah, uh, poor guy. Probably can't do anything. Okay, not where I thought it was gonna lead me. What do you have here? Old Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but never stopped to let no one off. Just kept on going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express, the train that crashed. Kitty Thompson. Ghost train. I'm gonna say I'm safe from the ink demon for now. Because it looks like we're in heavy plot related stuff. Oh! On my way to grab that heart, I did find another one of those random items. Like when I found that rubber duck, I found a canister of oil. And apparently it's a memory. Actually, instead of just saying it, I can show it. Engine oil. A tin of engine oil usually stored near the garage. Many road trips and Sunday drives benefited from this. There's like nothing in these trash cans. For a friggin' rundown place, you guys keep the trash clean here. There's nada. See what we got. Anything? Nothing. Nada. Hmm. All right. What do you want, Wilson? The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Oh. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Holy crap, Axe. There's actually some color. Damn. And he did not follow me. Fudge. Checkpoint. Weapons are not allowed beyond this point. Please place all weapons and contain ink on the holding desk to the right. I'm guessing the this? Subject will stand in the designated location. Okay. Submit all weapons for further screening. Oh, this. This does not sound good. I hope this is not a heavy stealth area. <gasps> I see a freaking gun! Hell yeah, give me that! Oh 
Okay. Nice ink but fountain. To the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Oh, so it's a different demon? Ooh, neat maid. Why the mask, though? That's a little creepy. Oh my god, Wilson, you are not... You are definitely not this guy. Oi. Also, you look like a freaking Mr. Clean in that in that photo. North Wing. Oh, there's a linker there. I want to take a look around before I talk to you. I mean, I know it's ink, but it's still nice looking. Also, he said, the towers disable the ink demon's abilities, but my abilities are blocked too. Am I part of the ink demon? And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison. Although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that eh, soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Fair. Come along. No That's very this fair. Now. Okay. Oh, you're here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then there's the north wing. She didn't sound happy to talk about the North Wing. Maybe I can explore a bit? Come on, give me some open doors! Dang it! Ooh, I can sit! Hi! <laughs> Nothing. What about over here? Oh, there is something jammed over here. Wonder why. The ink demon got in there a while ago, and ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. I can't tell if you're a lost one or you're, like, Wilson. But man, I want to... I really wish you could take that mask off. I want to know what the hell you look like. It's not very often I have guests to look after. Especially one I can actually talk to. 
Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Okay. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. Uh, no kidding. You this looks like a nice room. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. She's being polite too. What's this? For sleeping draft, pinch of salt, cocoa powder, chamomile, soybeans, gilson. Mix everything in a glass and then drink with exactly three sips of water. Sleeping draft. Am I gonna drug someone? The mug and the maiden. I'm jumping on the bed! <laughs> and you can't tell me to stop! Did you have any questions? A lot. Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. Huh? One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the ink demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. Fair. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. What we just it's read. My recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything one wicked else, hottie toddy coming right up. I'm always up. Okay, we are going to drug ourselves, apparently. Gilson. What's a Gilson? I. Yeah, what. What the hell is a Gilson? I didn't think of that until now either. Soybean, salt, chamomile, cocoa powder. A Gilson. The Mug and the Maiden, Volume 1. Chap uh. How long is this? Oh, oh god. No, no, I'm not reading that right now. Heck, heck no. Hello, Quartzy. Uh, I was looking about reading The Mug of the Maiden, but holy crap, that is a long freaking book. We are now in the midst of Chapter 5. Pretty new into Chapter 5. I hope you're doing well. Alright, looks like we're uh, going to be looking for a Gilson? Somewhere? <gasps> and a tape? What do we have here?
said he was from the Gent Corporation. Oh, okay, Gent. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing, and he left quietly. Later, I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray. That's... I think that's a new name. Alec Graham? Okay, we we have some new rooms. Let's see. A theory about spaces. Alec Graham. Spatial displacement of unknown elements. Let us imagine a long wire stretching between two points in known time. We'll call this length of time the euphonic base. From here, we can dispel all needs of social normalcy and all typical understood junctions of the world we know as the present. Once the euphonic base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there will be space around the wire that is not the wire itself. This space, a cromley vacuum, could be in itself a host to many wires, running in as many directions as we can perceive. Using a vessel flow, a flux break, we can escape from our wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these altered timescapes, but command them with a large understanding of their existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world into another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host wire's rules. The reality and function of the elements becomes a new euphonic base. This doesn't help at all. No, but that is some incredible, uh, what you call, physics. Fisherman Jeb's Fish Guide. Section 4, Freshwater Critters. The Yellow Perch. If you find yourself looking for hard-fighting fish that won't rip your hands, you should go look no further than the common yellow perch. This freshwater fish is always quick to bite anything they can get their jaws on. The best way to catch yourself one is work your bait, worms, minnows, or larvae, toward the bottom of the water and guide your line back up. You don't need much seasoning when it comes to cook it either. The flavor of the yellow perch is built right in. Good eatings. The Gilson fish. Okay, Gilson. This is what a Gilson is. This is one strange little fish that is pretty hard to come by. The gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch me up this little guy with a very clever solution. Apparently, the gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock when hearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the gilson to powder and stir it to water for a powerful, soothing drink. So, I'm looking for... A Fish. A fish? There's gotta be one here somewhere. Okay. Cooking. Chapter 9. Simple snacks. If you're in a hurry like I always am, you don't even have the time to put together complex or large meals. Fortunately, we have some scrumptious and simple recipes that satisfy and take no time at all to prepare. People will ask you how you made these so fast you can just sit back and smile. Cheese buddies. Take a loaf of leftover Italian bread and slice into four inch strips. Lightly butter your bread strips on one side only and lay them face up on a baking sheet. Toast your oven for two to six minutes at 400 degrees or just until they begin to brown. Sprinkle a thick layer of mozzarella cheese over the strips. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> and leave them in the oven for just a minute or two to melt the cheese. Remove and serve with your favorite marinara sauce or spice things up with a little ranch dressing. Quick, easy, and super tasty. Next page is for chocolate bacon soup. Good! No! Just... No. Okay. So we're looking for a fish. Is there an aquarium nearby? Hmm. My music is still playing. And I can't go through the air. That's still blocked off. <laughs> Making food? Uh, I was reading what I guess is a cookbook. Alright, what do we got in here? <gasps> yes, yes, yes! Now that's a fish. Is it a gibbon? Is it a gibbon? Oh, music. 
Maybe if it was closer. Oh. Oh, yeah, because sound vibrations. Okay. So let's see. Sound vibrations. That did it. It looks like the fish is asleep. That. That worked. I guess. Gotcha. And that looks like the most an ordinary looking fish. Hey, little stinker. <clears throat> uh, hello. I uh, oh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen too. Uh, I'll be. Uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. Sorry, Harold. I so hate the dry air. Okay, she got defensive. Why was she so defensive? That's a nice freaking painting. Floofiers. <laughs> Will spooks occur? Uh, I did get spooked pretty goddamn good earlier, but right now it's kind of at the quiet phase, which I don't mind. For this kind of game, I don't mind. <gasps> Fluffy kitty. Oh my gosh, it reminds me a lot of Sile's cat. Just super fluffy and the huge wide eyes. Oh, this door is open now. Oh, the bathroom. Hello. There I am in the mirror again. Flush the potty. Nope, just, just taking a big old poop. <laughs> did, they, did they really have to add the flush? Aww. All right, so should I take this? I guess so. With three things of water, it said. Ah, three sips of water. That's water. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. I, I had a hunch because I stopped myself for a bit. I knew I had a weird hunch that that maid was going to be freaking Susan. Uh, damn it. I got tricked again. Still got the warp voice. As Angel, to be exact, that's who I am. Sent from above, embed in perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, uh -oh. your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts ready for my delicious harvest. And with your generous sacrifice, I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. I don't want to! Time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? 
Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? <gasps> what a wonderful idea! No. Oh. <laughs> all right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then, I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong, you fry. Let's begin. Um, okay, okay, okay. Wow. You did not get any better than your first game, have you? Oh boy. I'm gonna say all you guys are dead. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Oh! You're... You guys are alive. Huh. Alright, so let's save here. Save game unavailable? What? Oh. Oh no. I guess I can't talk to you, sunshine. Ugh. What's up here? Oh, oh, okay, I, I need a sticky note. I see what I gotta do here. This is a uh, match it up in order puzzle. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. So the fox and rabbit cannot sit together. Fox and rabbit can't be together. Okay. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. Okay, rabbit. And what now? The rabbit never sits with the bird. Okay, with the bird. He loves the playful company of the bear. Can't be together. Rabbit and bear can sit next to each other. Okay. The puppet fox? Well, he he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Fox won't sit on left. Okay. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. Okay, bear must sit with bird. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. Okay, Fox is gonna have to sit with the bird then. Fox won't sit with Bear. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay. Bird and rabbit. No sit together. But we'll sit with Fox. Okay. We got all the info we need. So now we gotta take this up. Alright. So. With what I have here, Fox won't sit at the left, 
The fox will sit with the bird. So let's move this. Okay, the fox. The bird. Fox won't sit with bear. Fox and rabbit can't be together. Alright, so let's move the fox then to the far right. Bird. Okay, rabbit and bird cannot sit next to each other, so it's gotta be... No, but it can't be the bear. Oh wait, no, bear must sit with bird. Okay. So bear there. And then... Rabbit! Why is it giving me six animals, though? There better not be any secret messages I'm missing here. Alright, so let's see if this follows this correctly. Bird and rabbit can't sit next to each other. That's fine. Bird and fox sit next to each other. Got that. Fox won't sit next to bear. That's fine. Bear must sit with bird. Got it. Fox won't sit on the left. He's all the way on the right. Rabbit and bear can sit next to each other. Rabbit and bird cannot sit next to each other. Got it. Fox and rabbit can't be sit next to... Okay. It should be this then, right? And I don't see any other hidden... thing. so. Let's try it! I hope I don't die. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Okay, I, th I think I did it. I mean, the others got killed? But not me. Oh. I mean, I'm, s I'm sorry, everybody. Did not mean to get y'all killed, but... Holy crap. I mean, I did it. So, yay. Small win, I guess. Ah, uh, where are you? Nobody likes a party pooper. <gasps> My weapon! Yes! Come to daddy! Thank you! I made hole again! Get away! Oh. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of combat here, huh? I see how it is. At least we got food. And I did something. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Pretty awkward. You got everyone killed at that party. I didn't mean it. I mean, hell. I was tied up by a freaking crazy woman. What do you want me to do? I had no control of the outcome. Oh, and I have my abilities back. Ugh, sent from above. Uh, okay. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! No one humiliates an angel. No one! Now hold still, honey. This is gonna hurt. Oh, Okay. I cannot get caught in her. Oh god! Oh, you're out there. Can I break this? Nope. 
Stay low to the ground. <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> For an angel, she's kind of a sore loser. Very much so. Hiding from me. Oh, that's precious. Gotcha. Mm, don't think so. Stop calling me honey, I am not your honey. Ah, oh, it needs to be fully charged. Oh. Start dying. Come out, come out wherever you are. Shut up. Man, your vision is like piss poor. Okay. Go? Another hiding spot. Good, good. Maybe I can get over there. Get me our I don't wanna go. You freak! You know you're out there. Okay, now. Can I get up here? Yeah, yeah, crap! Beautiful. Where do you think you're going? Okay, just. Are you hiding from me? As long as I crawl on the ground, I sh she doesn't see me. <gasps> yes, charge me. Stop by the snackle machine and then open up that door. Good, because you're gonna be doing it alone. By yourself. Come out, come out wherever you are. Stop hiding! Shut up. Stop dying! Okay, wait for it to charge up, then go again. Okay, get my food. Good. Now, where's that staircase? Right here. Okay. Get out of crazy lady's way. Oh, that opens up the door. Okay. Hiding from me. That's fresh. Oh, there's another lock. The dark puddle. Oh, the dark puddles are calling. All I know is what that's calling is this sweet, delicious container. Is that just like to eat out of my hand? Oh, or in this case, eat with my hand. Okay. I don't wanna go. Ah, there you are. You hiding from me. It would be a lot more efficient for her if she were actually on the ground looking for me rather than just staying one spot. Where did you go? Alright, looks like I need to get up there. Right under your feet. <laughs> okay. I should be able to. <laughs> She's trying to snipe you. God dang it. Ah, crap!
Oh my god. This has to be the way up here, right? Run, 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 need food, run! Get back over there. Oh, which is right here. Good. Come out, come out you are. Oh, computer guy redeemed with hydrate. Thank you. And it's also good to see you. that charge up is not on a timer. <laughs> Otherwise, this would probably be a lot harder. No. Now, how do I get to that door? That's how. New objective. Banish Alice Angel. Oh, gladly. She's been waiting for this for a good couple of years. <laughs> I can do this all day. Uh oh, the boxes. Okay. Yep. Screams of pain. Music to my ears. Stop hiding. Stop. Gotcha. You hiding from me. Oh. Oh, I have a special gift for you. Oh, you're out there. Oh yeah, I'm out there all right. Goodbye. <gasps> no. Did I kill her? She's still alive. Final curtain, baby. Let's blow them away. Oh! <laughs> Just like the second game. Or the first game, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Die already, please. Always were. Uh, eh. Uh, why does this feel so familiar? Because you've done it before. Oh, right, Audrey. Alice. <gasps> I cannot begin to Tom? tell you how good Ooh, it is that to Tom? see you. And this Hello! must be your wolf, Audrey. Meet Tom. He's my protector. My friend. Yay! You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, 
From now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. Oh. But only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon for good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. Oh, please tell me she's gonna go get Henry, Henry and Sim. Mind if I take this? <gasps> Did I just take... Did I take her gun? She doesn't have the gun anymore. Please tell me I have the automatic weapon. Aww. I'm surprised Tom even let her. Alright, so. Making our way back to the retreat, huh? Okay, got a place to hide. That's good. Beautiful people run this world. If you can have brains or talent, you may just sneak through the gates. But with a pretty face, every door opens. The crowds bow to you. They ask your name. They want you to attend. They ask you to speak. A silky voice with gorgeous lips is everyone's weak spot. I was reborn with my perfection stolen from me. To get it back, I'll rip this rotted world apart. Angels are beautiful. Angels are beautiful. Alice Angel. You are pretty, after all. Pretty crazy. <laughs> okay. Jesus, peace. Must they bring us only more pain? Okay. Hmm. Which means I only have the ability to attack. I don't have any of my other abilities. No, don't send me back. Please have mercy. Up. Uh, no, 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 no. Get, 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 get there, get there, get there. Oh, we have these guys to deal with. I don't know how far he's gonna go. Nope, that's my question. Run! We can't interact or combat. A uh, snake man. I uh, I guess if you want to call him that. Where am I? Damn it, I can't hide while in combat? That sucks! Yeah, those snake guys, Quartzy, are very bad news. They kill you in two hits. I'm pretty sure you can't kill them. Am 
And they always sound like freaking radio interference. Okay, turn. Good. I want to get that soup that's over here because that'll give me a full heal. Thank you. Alright, now I need to wait. This guy needs to go back into that room so I can just sneak over into the hallway. And that's a shame that Alice uh, Angel only had that short amount of screen time. I was hoping she'd last a little longer. Alright, come on, snake boy. Crawl your inky butt back over here so I can make some more progress. Play playing the waiting game. Man, you guys, you guys move slow. Hurry it up! I can't get anywhere until you move back into that room. Tick-tock, buddy! I'm on the clock here! I hear him, but he isn't moving. What the hell? The heck? He didn't move at all. Oh, wait a minute. Is he stuck? He's stuck! What the hell do I do in this case? Stuck. Maybe I can just kind of go around him. That worked. I cannot believe that. No crap! Oh, you son of a! Now you decide to unstuck yourself. What the actual fuck? Hello. <gasps> the music box. This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. Looks like I need a turn key and a figure. Fix the music box. Uh, it would be wonderful if I knew how. Dear Alice, I don't know if you will read these notes, but I'll keep leaving them for you. I hope someday you'll understand my words and the madness will fade from your mind. In this strange and dark place, we can find light and purpose. We are not left to just wander alone, craving beauty, power, and other meaningless things. 
Even the heart of someone feeling incomplete can discover joy. We're not lost. We're merely waiting to be found. We are so much alike, formed from the same mold. We're like sisters, you and me. I wish you comfort and the wisdom to let your heart melt into happiness. I won't give up trying to reach you before it's too late. A friend. That was probably Allison. Give it up! Hmm. Okay, don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Okay, good. Good, just keep crawling away. No one likes you. No one wants to invite you into your kickball game. Just go away. They said he killed my lord. They said the ink demon fell. They said it was a false prophet. But I say my lord lives, but I say he will return. But I say you're better watch your back, Mr. Wilson. Can I get an amen? Yep, that was Sammy's note. Really? Effing really? So I can't get across there from that bridge. Don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught. Woo. Uh oh turkey! Okay, I guess that's one piece of the puzzle. What's next? There's a hidey hole there, that's good. Another one there. Another one there, the hell? So this is a dead end? <gasps> crap, 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 crap! Missing. Find the dancing figure. Do not bother looking in the box that's almost directly below you. You see no one. Oh man, I thought those things were eyes. No, they're hose attachments. Let him turn. We get in that hidey hole. Okay, and go.
Okay, which way are you gonna go? Left or straight? It's kind of funny, they remind me of Nagas. But like a mechanical Naga. Go, 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 go. I got what I wanted. Now I need the dancing figure. Which I don't know how to get over there. Wait! Go! 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 No! Fuck! Uh, why did this move? Or did I not see this before? Okay, uh, I need to find a dancing figure. I don't know what that was. Was I? I thought I heard something open. Or was that a ladder to just drop down? I don't know. Huh. I'm not getting any bendy icons. Stop telling me where to go or what direction to go in. Uh, just gonna go for it. Okay, nope, this is new. This is definitely new. And this guy got butchered. Oh, that must be what the distraction's for. Shoot. So what I need is not this way. So where the hell's the dancing figure? I can also use a vending machine because I am hurting for health right now. But there is one down here, if I remember right. find a dancing figure. I don't want to keep going around in circles. I'm going to need to look this one up. 
So I'm actually a little stuck. Freaking ads. Oh, I was in the right vicinity. Dang it! Guess I didn't look hard enough. So I'm wondering, I wonder if I'm in the north wing. Um, don't think this is the right way. No, because I need the jet charged up. Where is our work table? Did I miss a work table? Fudge me, what the heck? It's definitely not there. Fully charged gent required. So where did I miss the work table? All right, uh, we gotta look for a work table. down this way. No, not in this room. 
Oh, they did find some gem parts. Oh, there's a little icon there. How do I get down there? Hmm. Wonder if I have to backtrack a bit. Damn it. This means I gotta wait in here for him to come go around again. While I wait, let me see where the hell the table is. Ugh, it's way back. Also, the wallpaper looks like jigsaw pieces from uh, Banjo Kazooie. Okay. Go, go, go. Don't tell me this guy's stuck again. Are you gonna move? Or are you just gonna stand there? Run! Why does that one in particular become so buggy? Why? But at the same time, I did find the charging table, so yay! It's over here. Oh. Better at jumping on that bridge. I swore there was a pat too, but I really hope he's not stuck back there too. Alright, what the hell do we have behind this door? Because all I saw in that YouTube video was a door. Not anything else. Oh no. And I know I need to charge again, so this will be lovely. Okay, I may not have made it to a hidey hole, but uh, being in this little area seems to have made it safe. Oh. That's all the pieces for the music box. I would like some healing, if at all possible. I just want the battery. Give me the Duracell battery, damn it.
Where is he going? Ah, he's going that way. <laughs> 